Welcome back to the Bravado Wireless 2018 Football Media Days, our first year, hopefully first of many. I'm your host, Eric Shannon, and we have the Wilberton Diggers that are in the house with us. Made that, that curvy drive up north, and uh, uh, we have with us today Tanner Arnold, uh, and we have Miguel McKinney, McKinley, excuse me, and then, uh, of course, Coach uh, Jeff Marshall in his 11th year at Wilberton. Coach, thank you guys for making the drive up here. We really appreciate you coming up and visiting with us. Um, last year, lots to build on um, in that uh, 2A, uh, 2A5 district. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for this year for this team? Well, I think we, we have a lot of, you know, to build off of, like I said last year, we, we had graduated a lot of seniors before, so we had a lot of young kids on the field last year right. that, uh, you know, they're just going to be that much more seasoned mm -hmm. this season. And, and it, it, again, like you said, it's a good base, good, good, good building blocks. And, uh, you know, with the addition of some young kids coming up again, uh, we're going to look young, but mm -hmm. I really feel like we're going to have, have a lot of better uh, control and a mindset for what we want to do on the field. Yeah, and for folks that don't understand when you say there's a lot to build on, last year you guys went three and seven, and a lot of people, wow, man, that's not very good. But you know what? But, you know, I got to watch Wilberton, and that three and seven record is, is not really indicative of what it was because there was still a lot of talent out there, and it's not like you guys laid down on any of the games. It's just just what you said you got to build off of it right it was and, and you know we we were just talking about this on the drive up it's funny you say that we we're talking about how many games that we were leading at half mm -hmm. you know and, and we've got to be a better second half team this year right. and, and something we've addressed in the off season and all summer and and even already with you know one practice down starting at midnight last night that you know we talked about we've got to be better second half team right and uh you know so like you said yes the record doesn't really show up but you know a lot of those games we were in and leading you know right. for a lot of the games so you know we just got to in some that comes with youth and as we get older and more mature and we're, we're going to learn how to finish those games right Miguel we're going to start with you senior quarterback and I mean uh, one of the leaders on the team how is your what's your feel or what's your uh, what are you feeling and what's your thoughts going into this season I think this season's going to be a good season for us right. because we're going to show up we work hard when we have to when we do I think we can get get it done get it rolling right yes, sir. all right Tanner uh, what about your thoughts going into this season? I think we're really young last year, like you said, and also we uh, put in a new offense last year, like the option. Mm -hmm. And so just having two years under our belt now will be a lot better for us, have a better chance. All right, I'm going to ask you two, off-season-wise, how was the off-season? You all have a good off-season, good participation and everything? Yeah, we had a good participation. Yeah, a pretty good one. All right. Weights awesome. in summer and just weight training and little things here. stronger, there. faster. Right. Um, Tanner, cohesiveness of the team. You guys get along and everything. Oh yeah, going? yeah, real friendly. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Miguel, I mean, you feel the cohesiveness and oh, yeah. kind of a family type of atmosphere. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I know, coach. That's one thing. You know, a lot of coaches. Uh, you know, we talk about it. you can't buy it. You can't. You can't find it. You either have it or if you don't. It's that cohesiveness. You feel like this team is with the season last year. You know, all the youngsters. Everybody's coming together. Yeah, I think they are pretty well, and, and we have a big group of uh, freshmen that are starting to kind of, you know, they did in the spring and then throughout the summer, and uh, they're, they're really starting to click and, and kind of gel together, and, you know, again, with with the season before being a pretty good season, we've had the highs, right. and we've went through the lows, mm -hmm. and, and so I think going through those experiences, life experiences, it helps build that cohesiveness. Uh, team strengths this season. What, what do you feel, is, what's one thing that really, that really stands out for your team strength? Team strength really, I feel like, as far as not even position-wise, is just that m maturity. Right. You know, I think we're going to just be that much better, you know, have more people that are, you know, really coaches on the field more than just players. Right. You know, they're going to understand, you know, what we want in situations better than they did before. And I think that's going to be our strength moving forward. That's huge. Understanding the game more is a, is Absolutely. a huge, huge deal. All right, Miguel, I'm going to ask you, who is the fastest on the team? Tanner Arnold. Oh, Tanner, right here, my yeah. man Tanner. Yep, sure. All right, all right. So uh, we'll ask you. Uh, I'll ask you, Tanner. Who's the uh, clown on the team? Uh, Chris Diart. What, what position? Yeah, he's a linebacker. He has a twin, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. And they're nothing like. They're just mirror twins. <laughs> yeah, the other one's real quiet and kind of calm. He's just he's a clown. Yeah. Well, he's you've got to have that to loosen up the team a little bit, right? Yeah. All right, uh, Tanner, we'll stay with you. Who is it on your schedule you've marked down that you want to play and beat this year? Oh, that's Hartshorn, no doubt. Hartshorn, yeah. right? 
What about you, Miguel? All right, so Same Vegas thing, rival. right? Yeah. Big right. rival? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, now they're purple off, also. Oh, blue. Blue. Are they blue? Yeah. Well, I was, was going to say battle for the purple, but okay, yeah, they're yeah. blue. All right. Uh, Coach, last thoughts. Um, I mean, uh, what else can you say? I mean, positive thoughts from this team. I mean, uh, what do you think sticks out in your mind? Right now, the biggest thing that sticks out in my mind is just their effort. You know, so far, uh, had really great effort. You know, we, we don't have great numbers. A lot of schools our size don't have great numbers. Right. But their effort has been really good. And as far as, you know, if we can continue that effort for the 12, 15 weeks looking mm -hmm. ahead, you know, good things are going to happen. Yep. Get better every week. Absolutely. All right, folks. Wilberton Diggers, man, it's just basically just south from Muskogee, and it's a fun, beautiful drive down there, and all of a sudden you pop out from some trees and you've got the stadium right there. So go check it out. Uh, if you can't get down there to watch them, uh, which I would encourage you to do, if you can't get down there and you want to help them out, get hold of the, uh, the Wilberton Diggers uh, Booster Club, see what you can do for them, maybe buy them a, a pregame lunch, or you know these guys are gonna be stinking, so get them some soap or something <laughs> like that for the season. Uh, but go support some high school football, and especially in our area, we're so blessed to have so many great teams and so many good coaches and kids. Uh, it's just great. Uh, guys, thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate you coming up here, taking time out of your day. Thank you, Coach. I know you all practiced last night, so you're eating sleep on the way back, right? Uh, we've got lunch coming up here next, and we're going to have to feed you guys some barbecue. So stick around, folks. I'm your host, Eric Shannon. Coming up next, we flip-flopped. Uh, so now we have the Henrietta Knights coming up next, so stick around. <laughs>